Hey everybody, it's Angry Mongo here with a little tip for you for your gameplay needs. Now let's say you wanted to play an old school game like Covert Action like I've done, or you want to show people how good you are at not getting dysentery while uh, traveling the Oregon Trail. Well, the problem is, if you're using Windows 8, you don't have the ability to record DOSBox with Fraps, but there's a way to get around it. You need to go find your local folder. And by doing that, you go through the process of doing the search uh, percent sign app data or app data percent sign and I'll bring you up your roaming folder if you go back a step you'll see the local data folder and inside that local data folder folder you need to scroll all the way down until you find the uh, DOS box folder within that DOS box folder there should be a DOS box uh, config folder or CONF file now I highly suggest making a backup copy of it because you're going to be making changes to that file so you want to open it with, say, a program like um, Notepad or WordPad or even Notepad++ is really cool. And you're going to look for a couple of things. Now, I wanted to play in full screen, so I looked for the attribute that said full screen equals false and changed to true. There's also the Windows resolution. You want to change that to whatever your window resolution is on your computer, say, like 1280 by 960. Now, here's the big thing. The output equals OpenGL. The output attribute usually says surface. We're going to change that to OpenGL, all one word. And that allows DOSBox to render itself in OpenGL, which is one of the two formats Fraps can record in, the other being DirectX. Save that config file back into the uh, DOSBox folder, and then fire up DOSBox. And now you can start recording gameplay for old games like uh, Drug Lord or Pyro 2 or even like Covert Action like I'm doing and you can put them up on YouTube using Fraps. So, hey, if you like what you saw, leave me a comment, tell me if I missed anything, or if you have any other suggestions, any tips for other gamers using DOSBox and old school games, leave them in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw, share it around, and subscribe and go check out my other playlists so you can see how I actually played Covert Action using this method. Talk to you later. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.